And speaking of the president of Ukraine, Defiant response to Russia's invasion, it has made him recognized and celebrated all around the world. So we wanted to know who is Vladimir Zelensky. CBS's Holly Williams has a pretty good idea. Last year, she spent time with him and his family in Ukraine, and tonight she shows us how this former comedian became the face of a nation under siege. <laughs> Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, is being hailed as a new Winston Churchill. Stoically refusing to leave his country even as the bombs rain down. Sending words of inspiration to his people. But Zelensky started out as a comedian performing stand-up. He went on to make movies, often playing an everyman, like a Ukrainian Steve Carell. He even won the local version of Dancing with the Stars and voiced Paddington in the Ukrainian version of the blockbuster film. He created and starred in a hit comedy series about a Ukrainian high school teacher who improbably becomes president. And that led to Vladimir Zelensky, at age 41, improbably becoming president in real life, winning more than 70% of the vote. His campaign platform was bringing Ukrainians together and fighting corruption. Last year, we were given rare access to President Zelensky as he visited the front line in eastern Ukraine, where they've been fighting Russian-backed separatists for nearly eight years. Even then, he was taking risks, going within 150 yards of the separatists. And they go a little bit forward to see what's going on there. And, uh, for example, uh, the, in May, the two guys were killed by a sniper. The president also went to visit his elderly parents. That's my mother. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Inviting us in for breakfast. Ladies first, I'm sorry. No, 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 I think, I think I'm fairly sure presidents get to go no, first. No, just, just to show. In the tiny kitchen of their apartment, we enjoyed an early morning brandy. Do you prefer politics or comedy? Comedy, his father Alexander told us, saying he worried too much about his only child. Vladimir Putin said he launched this bloody invasion to rid Ukraine of Nazis. A strange claim when Zelensky is Jewish and says his grandfather fought against the Nazis with the Soviet army. Now Ukraine is in peril again, and the country's unlikely leader has emerged as a hero. It's truly, truly awful. Even getting Hollywood's attention at an award ceremony Sunday. We have a fellow actor in Zelensky who deserves some credit tonight for fighting the fight. But Vladimir Zelensky has left showbiz far behind. He's found a new calling, helping to galvanize his people and winning the admiration of a world horrified by Putin's attack on Ukraine. Holly Williams, CBS News.